What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Arizona Cardinals Madden 19 Rebuild Franchise. The playoffs are returning today. We take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, a team we're not used to seeing here in the postseason. They're much better this year than they've ever been in this series. This is a team that has some good offensive linemen, a couple good playmakers on offense. They have some standouts, too, on defense that I think are going to be pretty good. They... It seems like most of these players still have room to keep getting better, so maybe this will be a team we'll become used to seeing. Hanson Backus is going to be the quarterback we're up against today. He's a West Coast passer, and he doesn't throw downfield very well. Not accurate, doesn't have the arm strength, but he can run. That might give us some issues. We'll have to see, but I feel like we can close the gap and contain him pretty well. Rashad Barclay is the running back. I know we've heard of him, but I feel like it was on a different team. I just can't remember right now. Harmon Conley at wide receiver is a great possession receiver. And at tight end, Howard Barty is an 81 overall. I think this is a pretty good matchup, though, and we're going to see Jared Strojny at left guard dealing with Howard Iwabima and Gilbert Vaughn. That should be fun. When's the last time he was on our team? It feels like it's been forever. I know they have a good middle linebacker because it's somebody I was targeting. Josh McCarthy, 85 speed, 90 zone coverage. Right up there with Ahmad Burns among the best inside linebackers. Where this team is weak, though, is in the secondary. And against us, when we're on our game, you do not want issues in your secondary. I hope J-Dub's ready. We did not finish the year strong. That's the concern, is does that carry on into the postseason? Because, what, we finished the year like 3-3? Three and three? Yeah, it was not very impressive. We lost to the Chargers, who were really bad, and the Vikings, who were worse. So we better be ready, because the playoffs are here, and it's win or go home. We have some upgrading to do first. Ollie Kitchens. Oh my, a lot of upgrades here. It's too many, maybe. Next up, it's Duran Samuda, who got some good playing time this year with the injured Jason Lemon. Well, apparently he has even more points. Duran Samuda got a bunch. Huh, he wasn't Rookie of the Year. He was second place. Oh, wait, it was... It's three points, yeah. I wonder what exactly did that. There must have been a, something like a milestone we earned in Week 17. He made it to the Pro Bowl. How did Duran Samuda make the Pro Bowl? He doesn't return kicks. He was a backup running back. I've got to see this in Pro Bowl week, whenever that's going to be for us. Wow, that's a lot of upgrading, though. It sure helps his career. I'm not mad at that. Walker Ono Vine. Will he be on the Cardinals next season? We'll see. But he's among the best. J.W. Unger. Off of his best playoff run. I hope he's prepared for another. I'd like back-to-back -back rings this year. Pass protector next for right guard Roy Marpet. And Shakir Cosby, who put together another great season for us. We'll get the zone upgrade. Welcome to the postseason, everybody. Cardinals and Bucks here right now. It'll be hard to top what we did last year, especially capping it all off with a Super Bowl title, but we're here to make it back-to-back -back years. And can the Cardinals get this first win against Tampa? Here we go, everybody. The defending champs are here. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers start with possession, tight formation, and they'll run it. Cutting out to the right and coming down to make the stop. We have Frank McFadden. The Steelers had the league MVP, and they are already out of the playoffs as they lost to the Titans, 21-20. Now Tampa running up the middle, and not much there for Barclay. Let's start this day with a three and out. Here we go, play action, and a deep shot that is caught. 20 yards from Backus there in the slot. Conley is their best receiver. He just made that play, and now he's the only receiver in the game as they go three tight ends. 
And they're going to throw short, but not for much. Facing a third and seven now. Pressure on Bacchus, and he's going down. Ahmad Burns on the blitz. No one accounted for him, and the drive ends. Mason McConnell is now a Buccaneer, and that's one incredible punt. Although it was a touchback, actually, so the 72 yards is a little misleading. As we'll open at the 20, J.W. Unger. What do you got in store this time? And welcome back, Jason Lemon. After a dislocated ankle, his second injury of the year, he will start running right. Not much there. Right, here we go. Blue now we set up the screen. Lemon with blockers. He breaks loose for a moment and is across the 35-yard line. Here's first and 10. Now they brought an extra defender. It didn't help him much, and that pass is hauled in. Gutierrez gets us across midfield. Now McAllister motions, and it'll be Jason Lemon once again. And this is what we saw in the last game we watched. We couldn't run at all. We were really bad. And I know it's only a couple carries, but they haven't been very good. We're going to go back to the air now and over the middle, Gutierrez, who had a pretty solid season in the range of 60 catches and 600 yards. I'm not sure if I saw the wide receiver one potential, but it was a, an okay year. Not bad. Third down and three now, and Unger's going long with this one, finding Ono Bond, 17 yards. I really didn't see Walker Onobon having this season, though. I kind of had my mind made up as far as what to do with contracts, and then Onobon had 16 scores. Now Lemon runs left, and he'll pick up four yards. My plan in the offseason, by the way, regarding Onobon, I probably can't keep him in the first free agent period, but I might offer him a big short-term contract like the Mookie Betts deal in my Twins franchise on my main channel. Here's Unger, second down, good catch, Ono Bun. I know he's going to be regressing, but it shouldn't, like, take him out of being an elite receiver for a long time. We got a third and two, fullback dive out of nowhere to McAllister, and I don't think he got it. We're going to be kicking this. The field goal is good, so a 3-0 start for Arizona, and Tampa Bay gets it back. Sack for Deontay Wallace. Both him and Burns end these first two possessions, and Arizona's back to work. All ready to midfield. Jason Lemon for three. Ten more to Brian Gutierrez, showing he can handle the volume. Eight yards now to Walker Ono Bun. Six for Lemon. This is going pretty well. Can we move the chains now? We cannot. Two field goals on the board now. All right, Tampa, nothing going their way offensively right now. And more pressure off the blitz. That's two for Deontay Wallace. The $50 man making plays here in the postseason. And now backed up at their 16. Looks like we're playing some cover two here, so could be some room underneath. But they'll run it, and they're not getting much with Ahmad Burns in the way. Third down and 18 now, a long way to go, and they will settle short. Wallace out there to make the tackle near the original line of scrimmage. And the Buccaneers have failed to do much against this vaunted Arizona defense. I want to see a punt return now. Away it goes to Marquise Walters. And wow, McConnell... It bounces inside the five, and it's going to stall at the three. All right, defense and special teams might be keeping Tampa in this first half. A long way for us to go. Running with Lemon. He's got some space. Gain of eight. And we already open things up with a little bit of room. Caught by Gutierrez across the 20. I think he's playing that Will Wade role here pretty well. That's what it reminds me of. The main difference is that Gutierrez, if asked, has the speed to go deeper. And that's going to get us six more yards. So for whatever reason, Gutierrez, last couple episodes, very high volume target. No drops. 
Who can step up when we need the third down play? How about Bradley Young? He hangs on to it. And that's a gain of 20. And a 14 of 16 start for J.W. Unger. Now we try to get across midfield. Here's Unger. Oh, man, that was supposed to be a quick pass. And Aaron McDonald's already at six tackles. He made a few on Jason Lemon. And now a five-yard sack. Now second and 15, Unger's going to go way downfield, wide open, Odobon against his former team, touchdown! That'll open things up here in the first half, Arizona leads 12-0. This is spelling trouble for Tampa. Their offense has looked really bad to start this game. They've been pretty terrible. And they will open now in the I formation. They'll try to run this outside, and that didn't work either. What's your next idea? Well, now they're going to open things up. Three receivers in the shotgun, and Bacchus wants the screen. He almost got picked by Salisbury. That would have been awesome. Could we see this drive also end with a sack? They've got to get a big pass now. Third and 11. Play fake. Pressure. Salisbury's there. He won't get the interception, but he will have the third drive-ending sack of the half. Might want to gas up the plane at this time and start figuring out where you're going to be having your vacations. Because this Buccaneer season could be ending soon as Unger is sacked by Connor. The game is far from over. But for it to not be so one-sided, Tampa's got to do something offensively. Or score on defense. That's happened a few times too many in this series. Now 2.45 to go in the first half. Unger to the outside and open Kitchens. He's taken down near the 35 of Tampa. And Unger's already at 222. Down to two minutes to go in the first half. And Unger gets it out quickly. And Kitchens gets a six. Already in field goal range. Hoping to get a little further. Third and eight. Unger's got to be careful. Gets it away and it's hauled in. But shy of the marker is Bradley Young. So Tampa... Might get a little two-minute drill chance here. We're going to see. And they need something offensively. Not one drive of theirs has shown any promise. And for some reason, they're going to open this drive. Three tight ends. What is this offense? This is your two-minute drill? Well, they're at least throwing. Not getting far, though. They've only thrown it six times. We have really controlled this clock. 26-yard line now, clock ticking down. Bacchus, now he throws long, and he's almost picked off. Howell should have had it. Surprised Wallace didn't. Third down now from the 26, and that's only going to get a few. This dink and dunk offense is not going to cut it. I'm not so sure that we're not going to add more points here in this half. Let's see. The best player so far, maybe Aaron McDonald. But otherwise, I think it could be Mason McConnell who almost had that blocked. And it's another booming punt into the end zone. I just want to see our approach here. I think we should be aggressive. A full minute to go. A couple timeouts. Unger going outside with it. And Kitchens cuts up with seven yards. Got to get some bigger chunks, though, with the time remaining on the clock. Unger going to slide right and throw it dangerously over the middle. We could always play it safe, too. I think a run here is possible, but it's going to be a screen instead that gets knocked away. So Tampa's defense, they haven't been great. But this game could be a whole lot worse, if not for the things they've done well. 40 seconds left now. I'm not sure what the Bucks will attempt here. Well, they are in the bunch. So it suggests they might try to get down the field. Bacchus, screen, looking for a block, and he's got one. And he'll work his way ahead for a first down. It's a good start. 
still need about 25 yards. They're looking for it right here. Intercepted. Let's go. Aaron Howell will not be denied. What an elite talent Aaron Howell has been. Phenomenal ball skills downfield. That's big time. And I think we might have a drive of our own now. J-Dub in the offense. I wouldn't come out here and run it up the middle. I'd throw it downfield ourselves. We already got him down there once. And now, too many screens. Oh, come on. Yeah, now I think we're just going to end up playing it safe. But a very good first half for Arizona. We protected the ball. And most importantly, we didn't allow them to do a thing offensively. On to the second half, everybody. Arizona in full control. But the scoreboard, you know, doesn't indicate that it's over. It just already feels over. And we're working downfield now, but a sack. And a pass to Gutierrez, who's been pretty key today. 13 now to Kitchens. 7 for Lemon. Thrown away from J-Dub. And that was a conversion. Third and three. We only get two. We have a chance to really separate, but we're just not. I love watching games like this where our defense is so dominant. It's fun to focus on the opposing offense. I feel like we're always watching ours, but when the other team just can't do a thing, it's amazing. Dumped off. Oh my goodness, Ahmad Burns. What a hit. Especially in this current era of like spread out offenses and the high flying scoring we see and all the rule changes. I love watching teams that have this dominant defensive play in the postseason, whether it's real life or in Madden, but like when the Seahawks were at their peak, I thought that was so much fun to see a team just so dominant. And they were the type of team that could tell you how good they were and then back it up on the field. I loved it. I feel like this defense is maybe not on that level, but... They have the potential to put together some lopsided affairs like this. Barclays at like 1.1 a carry right now. And their pass game has been really, really sad. They're just not trying very hard. Second down and 12 for Tampa. Backus spinning, firing. He's got a receiver and Burns makes the tackle after he gets the first. Now they want a quick pass, and Bacchus has to wait a little bit, and the catch is made. And that's their top wideout right there. Conley's only at two catches today. We are shutting him down for the most part. And this is a run to the right. Something here for Tampa, perhaps, as we are already getting toward the end of the third quarter. Tampa Bay is now inside the 30 for the first time today, and they'll run this off tackle. Wallace in pursuit, along with Trenton Barton. I form now, and they're going to go with the fake. Needing two. Back is chased to his left now, and he's going to be able to break outside and get the first and more. That's a big nine-yard run. Tampa sure taking their time, though. They haven't really gotten any big plays. They don't really have a choice. It's Bacchus against Vaughn, and he's going down. A sack for Gilbert Vaughn. Back at the 25. Last play of the quarter against the Blitz. And very good wrap-up by Holiday. That'll set up a very difficult third down. You can settle for the field goal here, though. I think they'll try to get a big play, though. Third down and 16. Bacchus spins out. He's going to run with it now. Salisbury pursuing. He's going down. And he's sacked. It's another loss to end this drive. Six sacks on the day for Arizona. And that will make it 19-3. So for Tampa, I think their hope rests on their defense getting a big takeaway on our half of the field. Like right here. Lemon on the toss, gets to the outside, spins free, not done, still going, oh my. Why did that defender have to be there? I wanted to see him break out of that engagement. Ooh, good wrap up now and trying to strip the football. That's going to be something we have to keep an eye on. No sudden turnovers of any kind. 
This looks like a pass to me. Samuda checks in the game. And Unger's got a wide open man. Ono Bun, the former Buck, gets us into Buck territory. I think that I might have been different with my contract situation if Onobon had been doing some of this stuff more often earlier. Like, there was a lot of talk in the comments, like, maybe it's worth it to trade him. I wasn't going to do that mid-season or anything. But he was kind of just being an above-average possession receiver for a while. And he was pretty good. You know, I thought it was similar to what Anquan Bolden was doing in the, uh, you know, best years of his career. But now this year, we've seen more of the deep speed and the big passing output. That's overthrown. So yeah, even at 29, like, a player like Onobon is still worth a $60 million contract. But now, it's how do we get it to work? What does it take? We already gave out one at the same position. Third down. Chains move. Kitchens. It's a good possession, though, getting down the field, using up some plays. Good juke from Lemon. The running game with a resurgence this week. Split backs now on third down. Lemon goes out. And Unger with time. Oh, a defender got his hands on it. We did not miss the kick, though. So back to a three-score game. Tampa, it's not looking good. I'm looking for a turnover here to seal it. That's what I'm waiting for. Bacchus wants a screen intercepted and back the other way to win it. Jarvis Salisbury pick six for a defensive end. We saw Bosa do it off that, that hit in the Super Bowl, but this was just a clean pitch and catch. Jarvis Salisbury, let's go. I've been waiting for that play a long time. Now they're going to open things up. Three receivers in the shotgun, and Bacchus wants the screen. He almost got picked by Salisbury. That would have been awesome. I think we know who the player of the game is going to be. 29-3, Arizona running away with it here in the divisional round. Two sacks and a pick six for Jarvis Salisbury. And we are on our way to the NFC Championship game. I don't know who our opponent is going to be. I believe it's Chicago versus Washington for the other game in the NFC. But let's finish this out, Arizona. That was fun. When we play our best brand of defense, there's no better team than us. Final score, 32-6. to six. They never really had a chance in this game. A lot of teams that don't make to the postseason for a long time end up with performances like this. You've got to learn how to win games in the postseason. The Buccaneers aren't there yet. While well, we've been here a while, this ain't nothing. We won a Super Bowl last season, and we're going back hopefully for a second one. Well, third, but second in a row. J-Dub did a very good job today. No turnovers. Lemon ran for a full 100 yards. And I thought the receivers, they all pitched in and did really well. Gutierrez, eight catches. Kitchen, seven. Onobun, seven. Bradley Young, I feel like he's been a little overshadowed this season, just with Kitchens doing what he does and Onobun really being that number one wide receiver. But I feel like we can still get some high level play out of Bradley Young in the future. And Jarvis Salisbury, what a performance from him. Always fun to see a defensive player take over. And this is exactly what I expected. The Chicago Bears are the last team between us and the Super Bowl. It might be snowing at Soldier Field or Bears Stadium now. They have a new stadium, I guess. I can't picture the Bears or Packers ever playing in another building. This is a really strong team, though. Bryson Anthony doesn't make a ton of mistakes. And he's got Jarek Payne. Perry Kelly, Chandler Cummings. This is not going to be Tampa's offense. This team is much stronger, although their defense might be lacking. So this could end up being a higher scoring game than usual. We'll have to see. I think both teams will be in good position to throw the ball a lot. And we'll see what kind of game we end up with. This is a really good offensive line too. All right, it is Bears and Cardinals next time. Big injury here for Willie Maggot. He will not be playing for them. If 
still have Roquan Smith. In the secondary, Gregory Boyd is okay. Secondary is not their strong point. I can't wait. One more game, and then we're seeing who's going to the Super Bowl. But who's left in the AFC? I'm curious. The Titans and Jets. All right. If we win, we can meet up with Joey Bosa or one of the strongest up-and-coming teams in the New York Jets. There are no sleepers remaining. I feel that all these teams are really strong. The Titans were a 10-win team, but they got a solid roster, I feel. We helped them out with that. But next time we take on the Bears, I can't wait. Thank you all for watching this episode of the Arizona Cardinals Rebuild Franchise. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know down below, do you think the birds are returning to the Super Bowl? Have a great day, and I'll see you soon.